Today, I'd like to discuss blocking with all of you. The reason being that even in 2023, there have been quite a few new mods related to blocking and stagger. So I want to cover all of those as well. More specifically, I aim to cover blocking and its connection to stagger and hit stop in this video. Since I need to explain the basics of blocking and stagger as I see them, there may be instances where I have to revisit mods I've previously discussed. However, I would appreciate it if you could watch the entire video. Hit stop means that when a player attacks an enemy, the character stops the moment the enemy is hit. In the past, there were several mods related to hit stop. Some notable ones include TK Hit Stop, ZX Lice Hit Stop, Stop on Slash, and Immersive Impact Redux. However, since the introduction of Precision, most players are likely using Precision to control the hit stop feature. An important aspect of hit stop is that only the player character's actions should pause when a hit occurs, rather than freezing the entire Skyrim world. Additionally, the duration of hit stop should vary depending on the weapon, but this can impose a burden on mod creators, so it's not necessary to include it in every weapon type. However, excessively long hit stop durations can make gameplay frustrating, so it's important for you to adjust the timing to a reasonable level. In conclusion, while the hit stop feature can enhance immersion to some extent, having excessively long hit stop durations can make combat feel frustrating. Each player is different about the optimal hit stop time, so you'll need to set a hit stop time that's right for you. The recent introduction of Dynamic Block Hit on this channel highlighted the importance of blocking. When blocking an opponent's attack with different weapons, Dynamic Block Hit triggers stagger animations while pushing you a certain distance backward. This feature is incredibly significant, because in real melee combat, being pushed back by the force of an enemy's powerful attack while blocking is a natural occurrence. Additionally, since this functionality is not implemented in Elder Scrolls games by default, it's advisable to incorporate such features through mods. While there is also a mod called Impactful Blocking, you can use Dynamic Block Hit based on Maxu Block Overhaul, or you can choose to use Impactful Blocking. As mentioned earlier, Skyrim lacks Stagger for normal attacks by default. Therefore, if you wish to add Stagger to normal attacks, you need to use the Poise Stagger Overhaul. Some may have reservations about adding Stagger to normal attacks, as the outcome of combat can already be determined by the one who initiates the attack. However, I personally argue that having Stagger even for normal attacks enhances the immersion. Regardless of the type of attack, I believe that the recipient should have some reaction upon being hit. Poise not only applies to normal attacks, but also adds reactions for giant power attacks. It is not limited to normal attacks alone. However, one limitation of Poise is that the variety of stagger animations is quite limited. For example, if an attacker strikes from above, the recipient should have a stagger animation where they lower their head, while an attack from left to right requires a stagger animation where the recipient falls sideways. These stagger animations should have been developed together by the MCO moveset creator in the first place. Moveset creators also bear some responsibility for this issue. They focus solely on the attacking animations of actors and pay little attention to the reactions of the recipient upon being hit. Although the Elden Rim Stagger system has added reactions for some power attacks, it does not support Stagger for other movesets. It would have been more appropriate for the MCO moveset creator to design both the attacker's animation and the recipient's Stagger motion together when creating MCO moveset. Now from the player's perspective, let me explain the best mod combination to activate Stagger. I will describe how to trigger Stagger as frequently as possible. The current best mod combination is Elden Rim combined with Poise. As mentioned earlier, Poise completely overhauls Skyrim's Stagger system. However, since the Stagger animations in Poise are somewhat limited and repetitive, blending them with the Stagger animations from Elden Rim can somewhat compensate for Poise's shortcomings. Elden Rim has unique Stagger animations for each power attack. While some of these animations can be exaggerated at times, I still believe they are much better than having no Stagger at all. Additionally, using large Stagger animation allows you to add Stagger-like effects, such as knockback. Moreover, Incorporating the recently uploaded subtle feminine stagger animation can diversify the stagger animations further, 
which is also a good approach. One of the significant factors to pay attention to in 2023 is weapon impact. There are two elements you should consider in impact. Firstly, weapon spark effect. When attacking armor with a metallic weapon, sparks are inevitable. Therefore, spark effects are essential. In the past, I have created special videos highlighting this aspect. And even now, the mod combination I emphasize regarding this is precision. Weapon trail feature combined with simple block sparks and improved weapon impact effects correct metal. There is no disagreement regarding this mod combination even at present. Secondly, the trail effect. If you want to emphasize more impactful elements in the weapon trail added through precision, I recommend adding Dynamic Impact Slash Effects X. It adds magical effects in the direction of weapon attacks, and even includes effects like blood splatters. If you want to add more colorful elements, you can also consider Chaos or Divinity Trail. Personally, I recommend using Dynamic Impact Slash Effects X together with Chaos Effects. The reason is that Chaos Effects are triggered only on enchanted weapons, so by applying Dynamic Impact Slash Effects X to normal weapons and Chaos Effects to enchanted weapons, you can experience a wider range of effects. When using Dynamic Impact Slash Effects X together with Chaos or Divinity Trail, Chaos and Divinity Trail should be positioned below Dynamic Impact Slash Effects X in the mod load order. Lastly, I would like to mention Death. The original Death animation in Skyrim, where the character flails and falls, is one of Bethesda's significant mistakes. This is one of the elements that must be modified, and previously the common approach was to modify the Death animation through the Underdog animation. Although this is still considered the mainstream method, recent mods related to Death have been added, allowing you to explore more variations. Firstly, there is Black's Random Death animation. It adds six different death animations. However, if you find the animations limited and the motion too slow, but still feel unsatisfied with the traditional underdog death animation, you can seek variation through the random death animation. Additionally, there is a recently added female death animation. The creator's idea shines through in differentiating animations based on gender. While the motion may appear somewhat exaggerated, this mod allows you to diversify death animations based on gender. Above, I have summarized a few personal thoughts on modding guides for hit stop, blocking, stagger, impact, and death in the first half of 2023. It's important to note that this video reflects my subjective opinions to a large extent, so please consider these aspects carefully when watching. If you find this video helpful, I encourage you to support my channel by subscribing, liking the video, and enabling notifications to stay updated with future content. Additionally, if you would like to contribute more significantly, you can consider becoming a patron and providing regular support, which will greatly assist in the long-term production of videos. Thank you for taking the time to watch this comprehensive video. I hope you have a fantastic time exploring the world of Skyrim with these modding guides and recommendations. Enjoy your gaming experience to the fullest.